The final update of Fortnite is officially now confirmed with the release of today's hotfix to be coming next week, version 20.40, on May 17th, 2022. Chapter 3 Season 2 has gone by incredibly fast in my opinion, as we're already 68% way through this season with only 24 days remaining. And of course, with that said, despite the new content being added still into this season in today's hotfix, with this dropping of course, so many things more have been leaked across social media, which is what we're going to be discussing as always, but let's just say things are starting to now get even more interesting to end off this season as well we're venturing toward a live event which we have even more developments for, which most likely is going to include Clombos being used within it for either side fighting off the other and perhaps seeing masses of them eliminated. Sounds good right? Well I know it does so make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today by ignoring my sore throat of course. And one favour you can do for me that literally takes 2 seconds and is 100% free to do is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop right now. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face but cheers up my pug Gus too who's been kinda sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers and after all it only benefits you as I do give different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with all that said now enough messing around we've got a ton of content to dive into not just added today but in 20 point 40 and even the return of clombos so make sure of course you don't go anywhere all right so first of all before we dive onto things upcoming in 20.40 and even clombos returning before the live event which is going to be insane so stay tuned fortnite tweeted this out today as you can see it states did you see that show off your nuttiest plays with trick shots unvaults in this week's 20.30 hotfix which is kind of strange they're tweeting this now considering we've already seen 20.30 go for downtime anyways and lift and that's the version we're in now but anyway ways from clicking the article. The first piece of information we're met with, which was actually determined by data miners to be upcoming a while ago but got forgotten about, is the airstrike. As you can see right here, it states, for those that don't know how this works, whether from looking at the trailer or the article, calling some reinforcements, the airstrike has been unvaulted. Throwing airstrike to send missiles rain into its landing area. Airstrikes can be found in chests, in supply drops and on the ground. Of course, we've been able to use these in creative for quite some time and I honestly wonder with these being added, considering ballers were leaked to be returning also from the same season that they were originally added in chapter 1 season 8 around the time of it being determined airstrikes would be unvaulted if they're upcoming in the 20.40 update speaking of this update obviously occurring as previously mentioned on may 17th that specific date believe it or not ties to what's next in the article as it states trick shot unvaults style on them with freshly unvaulted trick shot items from now until may 17th 2022 obviously being the update day saw through the air with the flint knock pistol and take aim with the hunting rifle. These classic items can be found in chest supply drops on the ground and also during this time the drop rates for utility items like the high flying shockwave grenade are increased. And last but not least in this article before we dive onto some crazier leaks and upcoming things in the world of Fortnite, the final thing right here as you can see is what's next in terms of the funded items that will be returning to Fortnite's loot pool out of well the shield bubble and also these balloons. And don't forget before one of these items is unvaulted like the other ones we We've had to choose between in terms of funding the station or each item. We'll have the opportunity to try out both from May 13th at 9am ET to Monday May 16th at 11pm ET. Additionally on top of that Fortnite did release another article today to announce the return of Short Night. Within this they not only have this attached to the trailer they uploaded to YouTube also today but basically for those that don't know what Short Night is or previously has been if you have never attended it's basically an opportunity for us to watch a certain amount of animated shorts including in the world premiere in this case of three new ones. I'm going to be honest, I don't really mess with all that kind of stuff, I'm just a battle royale player, however something for everybody who is playing at the very bottom we've got revealed too early, as you can see it states a sweet treat and despite it going on to say that this new emote is releasing, snacking at May 11th 8pm ET, to not only compliment the short night festival, well Fortnite have attached a short video of what that will look like, obviously with the doggo skin I believe it's called, this pug looking thing performing it for like a minute. And despite Fortnite leaking this themselves, of course, don't forget these are all the current unreleased cosmetics that were implemented from last update or just generally are in the game's files that Epic Games could add at any time. One skin or bundle in particular that I definitely think will be upcoming very soon, however, is the Order skin revealed to be the last member of the Seven, the other sister out of her and the Imagine. Despite the skin being leaked in multiple forms, showing off all the styles and stuff that data miners have been able to determine early from pulling it into game early, the most interesting thing perhaps in my opinion is this loading screen. 
screen as it not only shows the order directly involved in the storyline, but it seems it's almost trying to imply a build up to some sort of plans of the imagined order, particularly Dr. Sloan holding up another hologram right here. Some people believe this to have large resemblance, as you guys know we're going to be getting a Darth Vader skin next season too, well Darth Vader's base or castle or this that belongs to him on screen right now, and some at the same time which seems more plausible anyways in terms of going into a live event that we know is most likely upcoming another device, one like we saw in Chapter 2 Season 2, as it states in tons of the voice lines that the IO are working on their own Doomsday device. Of course, with that said, people have compared this hologram to the prongs that came out of the ground in the surrounding water area of the agency, despite the middle of it where the Doomsday device or the device itself actually came out of destroying the building. And whilst we're on the topic of the Doomsday device or the device 2.0 live event that will be happening at the end of this season, most likely June 3rd, directly going into downtime as this is the final day of Chapter 3 Season 2. As you can see on screen right now, Happy Power tweeted out, here's what the energy fluctuation outside Loot Lake looks like in the new Resistance quest for Week 8. Definitely some proof they are building a Doomsday Device 2.0, who's hyped for this event, and as you can see, there seems to be some sort of like energy rays coming out of the ground, which for those that don't know, resembles largely what was coming off of the Doomsday Device that Midas was actually building and we could see inside his own agent layer in Chapter 2 Season 2, and of course with all of this largely being tied to next season, one thing I do want to see return is this Battle Pass menu, maybe not the individual agent rooms, although that would be really cool if they can pull it off with the characters in the next Battle Pass and the theme of next season, but overall this was a cool little innovation and touch for the Battle Pass and I'm honestly confused as to why they did take it out, let me know down below in the comments if you'd like it to return also. Again speaking of us reaching the next season, however of course with us actually being in the second to last stage now of the seven pushing back the imagined order, as this mini live event at the time of me recording is the current one we can partake in to actually claim back tilted in game when you're watching this video. Considering this battle didn't end today in the 20.30 hotfix not downtime update and we're going to be seeing confirmed now with it being put onto the staging servers v20.40 it will be releasing definitely 100% confirmed on May 17th 2022. This will be the day when we finally see the tilted blimp crashed although it's kind of strange it hasn't already from the amount of destruction that has occurred on tilted or around it or below it. And furthermore interestingly where it's going to be crashing is not into tilted towers itself causing further destruction rather so into the lake on the outskirts which believe it or not is not a named location and is a landmark which is actually called Loot Lake, kind of like the lake from chapter 1 itself but obviously this was named on the map and everybody knew about that. To complement this there's also been some more voice lines released or leaked from the imagined anyways stating that we're making the IO retreat now to their base of operations which obviously is Command Cavern but they will still have control over not only Command Cavern but Loot Lake as you saw in this image. And with everything being predetermined this season to happen in terms of updates, map changes developing toward well the end of the season and with it looking like this is the case for the next season considering all the downtime updates got leaked or the amount of them there's going to be, five in total as there's four this season which was proven correct. With the map progression and storyline ties hopefully being more interesting next season, something interesting that's actually happening right now potentially to do with us riding Clombos, once they're returning potentially in 20.40 is the following that Hypex tweeted out about Epic Games has begun working on rideable animals again recently and they're currently working on adding this functionality to wolves or maybe they're using them for testing, who knows. With nothing being stated here specifically about Clombos, although we know they're going to be returning from Epic Games teasing, well this is going to be from the secret challenges, whether it be from visiting the snow mounds, consuming the Clombries or now visiting the sand mounds in the desert region, with us knowing that they were vaulted initially as they came in harm's way of the war between the Imagined Order and the Seven and for that reason as Epic Games promised they had to wipe out the entirety of Tilted which is the reason for the downfall of of it. Even though this was all on Epic Games themselves, they didn't have to vault Clombos, put them directly in harm's way, they simply could have moved them or lessened the amount that spawn in. Believe it or not, if you haven't heard about this in other videos, Epic are working on making Clombos killable. As of now too, they're supposedly working on making them drop a special version of meat and 15 different types of loot, including ammo, mats, consumables and maybe weapons, which is something at least that Epic Games we thought would never do, make Clombos killable, let alone give us an incentive for doing so, or seemingly like a reward, of not only the meat to heal ourselves but then all the other loot it drops at the same time. Fingers crossed if this is the case and this riding animals feature applies to only the smaller ones if baby clombos are ever added or before the live event in itself in 20.40 that none come into harm's way. And last but not least despite everybody missing their spider-man swinging ability that got vaulted well at the start of this season being the spider-man mythic web shooters, do not fret as they've recently been updated and it looks like they're going to be returning and aren't vaulted forever however long that is we don't know until they return but speaking
Speaking of ballers, which are also another swinging like maneuverability vehicle which actually protect us more, Hypex had this to say that I've only just seen now. The ballers were updated again recently, they're updating their grappler and they made them remove players equipped balloons when they enter the vehicle. Also back in March they started working on a baller V2 vehicle with 400 health so we might see them return next season. Honestly this makes me excited for chapter 3 season 3, let me know what you think down below in the comments but that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep referring back to it, leave a like in it down below, subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads and you get there first. But speaking of other uploads, now make sure to interact with anything on screen, I don't mind, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you, yes you the individual, still I can see you, hopefully in that very next video I do post on the channel.